Welcome back everybody. While I do enjoy the shorts, they have certain drawbacks. First, it seems that a lot of people who watch the shorts don't actually check out the rest of the channel. That's totally understandable. The whole point of the shorts is just to get a 60 second or less clip of the general type of content you can expect on the channel. However, I regularly get comments of viewers of the shorts recommending that I play games that I already play on the channel. That's totally fine. I always appreciate the recommendation and keep those coming. An additional drawback of the shorts though is that the videos are compressed. With something like my landing and subsequent takeoff at Juancho y Irausken, a total of around 15 to 20 minutes of flight time was condemned into two 60 second videos. As those two videos are some of the most popular on my shorts channel, and I still happen to have the original video of that whole debacle, I wanted to go ahead and share that with you in a bit more of a full length format. Much of the commentary was done live. I tend to record live commentary when attempting challenges, but I have added some for general information. You'll recall that in this particular challenge, we're attempting to land a Boeing 787 at Juancho y Rausken, an airport on the side of an island that Microsoft Flight Simulator gives credit for having 977 feet of usable runway. We'll talk a bit more about that runway length once you can see it. If you haven't yet, please be sure to subscribe for more airplane and video game shenanigans. As you can see at this point in the approach, I already have my landing gear down and my parking brake set. You know, this light reflection issue in the cockpit, they introduced that in a recent update, and it is just killer. All right, now the runway is off on the edge of the island here. 150 knots, 1500 feet, okay, looking pretty good. A little bit more power. Boy, that is a little runway. Make sure I don't have any autopilot control on anything here. Oh, jeez. Some of these fly-by-wire and auto-assist systems are just annoying as heck to turn off. This is a really lovely area, for the record. Okay, a little high and a little fast. Goodness gracious. Gonna need air brakes, thrust reversers, brakes are already set, wheel brakes. I gotta get slower here too. Hundred and forty five knots too fast. A little bit of rudder here. Air brake, come on, oof, thrust reversers, stop, if it's hopping like that, ah. come on, <laughs> oh my gosh, when it gets to hopping like that, you lose your braking action, all right, yeah, we got, Air brakes up. Man, this is a gorgeous little area. And of course, got everything on the highest difficulty settings except for ATC voices under user experience, but that's irrelevant. Wow. Oh, that's a nice little town. See, so I'm thinking that the difference in runway length, this where the nose is, is not usable runway. Marked off by an X, and it looks like the other end has some of that as well. So I'm thinking that is the difference with usable runway as opposed to the total length of this concrete. Well, 
let's see here. I wonder. I wonder if we can fly back out of here. I mean, it's an elevated peninsula. Now, you know, in real life, in real life, if I was doing this, I'd have spotters helping me back up. So I don't feel too bad about using third person view. Oh my goodness. Ah, this camera. Gosh dang it. The camera is moving itself. Try zooming out a little bit. It's like the, the third person camera tries to adjust for what it thinks is going to be your helpful angle. It's not helpful. Not helpful. Oh, look at that. They got a solar farm right next to the runway. That's nice. See this? This camera movement? I'm not doing that. Alright, I should be able to turn around in that ramp there. Push reversers off, forward, nose wheel. Yeah, that nose wheel got some crank on it. That's good. Okay. Well, what the heck? Why am I not turning? What's happening? Turn! Okay, that was weird. Well, we got a light twin engine turboprop sitting here on the ramp. What is happening with these wheels? Can't tell if my nose wheel is just not turning. Man, we got a helipad over there. Now wheel, will the nose wheel turn? That is the question. Come on, come on, turn, turn. Obviously the flaps are irrelevant here, but I'm using a Logitech Extreme 3D Pro, so turning the rudder is also affecting the ailerons a little bit, so just FYI. All right, backing up again. Giving it heck. Hard rudder, hard rudder stomp here. Are we gonna turn? Are we gonna turn? And you know, you gotta be careful with this. Ooh, get a little bit more action when I'm backing up. Gotta be careful, because you never know exactly what's gonna make Flight Simulator decide that you've crashed or collided with terrain or overstressed the aircraft, so. I can't help but notice there's a huge light pole right next to the helipad. Questionable, questionable placement. Nose wheel is definitely in the dirt half the time here. Turn, what? Goodness gracious. I just, I gotta get the turning done on the reverse. I gotta get the turning done on the reverse. are in the dirt. Great. Ooh, hey. Yes. That main gear stays stuck in the dirt. Yes, yes. That was a good... 15, 20 degrees of turning right there I got with that wheel in the dirt. Come on. At this point I'm just kind of stuck. Oh, goodness. There we go. Get that dirt back in the mud. If it wasn't mud, it will be after this thing cruising through. To the mud. It is just ridiculous how much more effective the turning is in reverse than it is going forward.
Keep in mind that when your pilots are backing out their big airplane from a terminal at an, air uh, at an airport, they're getting pushed by a little truck. So they're not doing this thrust reversal mechanism that I'm doing here. You know what? This might just end up working here. You gotta, gotta rev it a little bit. You gotta give it a little bit of heck and then slam it in reverse. These are not driving tips, by the way. Just for everybody's everybody's information. Come on. Okay, full power and reverse. There we go. There we go. Oh. Oh. Now the experienced aviators around here would be concerned about the thickness of the runway. Is this runway actually thick enough to handle the weight of an airplane like this? Well, I can tell you that Microsoft Flight Simulator doesn't seem to account for that sort of thing, so just don't worry about it. Come on. What am I stuck on here? What is happening? Forward and slam it into reverse. I do not know what I'm getting stuck on here. What is happening? Oh, oh. Look at that nose wheel just a little bit. Seriously, this is a lovely little town. Look at that. We are aligned. So what are we at here? About 140 feet above the water right here. So I'll have 140 feet-ish to play with trying to take back off. Assuming we can never get back there. I don't know if there's like mud stuck in the tires or what. It's just obscenely slow. This is just not a lot of runway for a plane this big to take off. I'm sure the mayor of the city is happy to see it go though. Heckin' camera. Heckin' camera. Okay. Past the end of the runway. Oh, rocks. Rocks, rocks, rocks. Let's see here. Not gonna, not gonna lose it now. How close can we get? Oh, jeez. Once again, I would have spotters in real life, so I don't, I don't feel bad about this at all. Clear it. Can I get it over? Ah, it's just a little too close. If I could back up like another 50 or 60 feet, just get my back wheels right on the edge of the cement. I just don't know if I'm gonna clear these rocks. Really good view of the thrust reversers here. Oh, jeez. The engine basically slides open and air gets blasted forward. With my flaps down, I don't think I'm going to clear it. Yeah, no. No, this is probably going to have to do it. Okay, parking brake set. Flaps, I'll adjust those when I can reach them. I'm still on the hard. Nothing's changed there. What's my weight looking like here? 
Wow, okay. 22% payload, 49% fuel. Let's give it a shot. Whoops. All right. All right, we've got the brakes set already. Throttles up. Adjust my flaps, 10%. Engines are at sitting pretty at a hundred. My brake button is right next to my third person view button. Forty knots, fifty, sixty. I need to be around ninety to a hundred to stay in the air. It's eighty, ninety, hundred. Come on, stall. Oh gosh, dang it. <laughs> Oh, you could hear the uh, the stall shaker. That's awesome. Let's try that again with just the pilots and 25% fuel. Gotta back it in there again. snug okay brake set throttle up Let's see what we can do this is more than enough fuel to get over to the nearest large airport Five hundred. Oh gosh, it's trying. One twenty. We got it. We got it. Okay. Whoo! All right. Hmm. <clears throat> very normal. Very standard. It's exactly how this airplane is uh, designed, and it's uh, it's no problem. One of the things I discovered while setting this up is how close this particular airport is to San Bartolome. It's just right over there. Maybe 50 miles away and this airport that I'm going to is not far either. And at that point I completed the flight over to the nearest 7,000 foot runway. I do have to admit that it was nice having more than three times the total length of the airplane in usable runway, so that was pleasant. If you enjoyed this, be sure to like and subscribe. Also, there is a Discord server if you happen to be into that sort of thing, and if you're interested in seeing more of these types of videos, consider supporting me on Patreon. Also, if you haven't yet, be sure to check out the rest of the channel. We'll talk to you next time. Thanks for watching.